one million euro tip sport game changer comes to the UK for the first time. April 20th in Birmingham. One list versus Siraj. Get your tickets now at theticketfactory.com. First round, fight! Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett, and there's one thing that is evident. That is the height, the reach advantage on side of Ronnie Paradiso, Luke. As it always is, the fearless will have to test that name against Ronnie and need to check, change and close the distance here if he stays at the end of these long straight shots that we've seen Ronnie utilise on his way to becoming the champion. It's going to be a long night for him. Attila Kortmas has stepped into enemy territory many times before. Not phased by it, he's got a great skill set as well, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. His movement, his switch of stances, his striking, his range is excellent. But I don't think he's ever faced someone with the anatomy of Ronnie Paradisa. I love how he's switching stance though to evade the shots from, from Ronnie as well, using that to get out of the way of the kicks. Not quite sure what Ronnie was signifying there, but Korkmaz does look fearless, looks in good control here, gets his leg caught. And doing the right thing right here, he has to be all the way out or all the way in with his attacks. Yeah, definitely. It'd be interesting to see how long he wants to stay on the feet before he attempts to maybe take Ronnie down, which is where we might, most of us expect him to want to be. But looks comfortable there. Just needs to be careful of that laser-like left hand that comes out of Ronnie. Yeah, we saw that on show against Ivan Buchinger, against Andrew Fischer, quality opponents. But Attila Kortmaz and his team, the German team said they spoke to them, they said they, they feel like this. An opportunity if you can get Ronnie Paradisa on his back, especially with the jiu-jitsu of Attila Kortmaz. But getting Ronnie down is one thing, right? He is such an athletic specimen. Nice oh. pain, and then goes low. There's that left hand. Beautiful work from Ronnie. Again, Ronnie used to fight in those five-round fights. Three rounds he has tonight in our co-main event. Yeah. Changes the dynamic. He needs to be a fast star. And he's, look, I'm sorry, Luke. he's sorry. He's looking good so far. Now dominating the space, controlling this octagon cage. And one of the things we've seen on this five-fight win streak is the improvement in his hands. And you've got to credit that as well to the, the gyms, Nitra and also Ancos. We've got Jan Serdu behind us. And so, oh, Jovni, Serdu has said this is these are the hardest rounds I get against Ronnie Paradisa. Yeah, great sparring partners have, especially in the striking rounds, but. Feel like Ronnie now just analyzing, trying to find his opening. And Korkmaz needs to figure out the puzzle that is the champion. He needs to work out a way in. He needs to way, make a way to change his dynamic. And, and like you said, put him on the back foot. Works extremely well coming forward. Great with the offense and very aggressive when he needs to be. But can you get him on the back foot? Can you change the dynamic? Oh. There he switches out. Beautiful feint with that left heap. Then coming up high with the shots. Ronnie Paradis at 11. Whee, nice question mark kick. 11 of his 14 finishes are by knockout. Attila Korkmaz has never been finished by TKO or KO. Then yeah, Korkmaz, you can see that the striking pedigree has switching stance, moving, throwing kicks high and low, but it's just the distance, the size. Nice catch of the kick. Look nice ev evaded. Well, there's that teep through the middle as well from Korkmaz. Just feel like Ronnie's the one bossing the oh. space, controlling the octagon cage. Always has Korkmaz on the outside, pinned up against the fence. That's something that we saw Cater do well against Ronnie. He, he managed to push him oh. back. That right hand landed. That was good. Solid right hand from Korkmaz. Needs to earn the respect of him. Needs to push him back. Making steps now. Yeah, you, you see in this bracket, not this bracket, in this tournament, interestingly enough, Two of the fighters that Paradisa has lost to, Legersky and Keita, are both in this now. So we could see rematches down the line. And you'll be able to find out exactly how the quarterfinals unfold as we do that in the press conference. We'll be on the main Octagon YouTube channel. There's that left hand again. Nice jab. Korkmaz responds. Head movement too. Needs to get in the, the face of Ronnie, needs to put him on that back foot because in his position he's so comfortable, sets up beautifully with those fates. Oh. There goes to the body up that. Again, needs to take the pressure off, some lateral movement, get off that fence. At the moment he's got nowhere to go, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and Ronnie can just tee off. But you look in his eyes, like there's no fear there, he's, he's trying to time a counter. Sometimes when you see people pressured against this cage, 
they're just in survival mode. But you can see Korkmaz is looking for a shot. He's yeah, he's looking. switched on. He's definitely in the fight. I just feel like he, he's allowing Ronnie to bully him as we move into the last oh. 15 seconds. Oh, really nice. Chains that together beautifully, that knee to spin. Left hand oh, lands, left hand though. on the ear as well. Landed a couple of times now as Korkmaz. He's found a home for that right hand and that left hook. The armor that is Ronnie Paradis's distance. Nice switch of stance from Ronnie. And from Cortmas. Cortmas in the blue corner, Ronnie in the red. This is the co main event here at Octagon 54. Oh, question Just mark. Just missed kick. the beard there of Cortmas, but this is better. Cortmas not allowing himself to be bullied around the fence, around the cage, sorry, put, put on that fence. Nice low kick. Now he's controlling the center of the octagon. This, this is a different energy from him. Oh, he gets, the left, gets dropped there, though. I think that was a left uppercut that landed. Touch of gloves. And we see the scores there. Oh, here we are. Interesting how that's been scored. Two for Korkmaz, one for Ronnie. Not quite sure that's correct, to be, if I'm completely honest, but we'll see as we move forward at the moment. None of that matters. These two battling in the middle of the octagon cage. And again, this is much better, in my opinion, from Korkmaz. Much more control. I feel like he's grown from that first round. A little bit of a cut and blood coming off the face as well of the champion. Yeah, Korkmaz is so defensively sound as well, right, Luke? His reactions are good, switched on. But now Ronnie's the one on the outside, and Korkmaz the one pushing the action, controlling. Going high with that oh. kick, gets, gets uh, you know, punished for that, though. Yeah, that blood now trickling down the right cheek there of Ronnie Paradisa. That will instill confidence again. Not that a man like Korkmaz needs it. Oozes confidence in and out of the cage, that young man. A oh. nice spinning heel kick to the ankle. Ronnie kind of shook it off. The, the, I was going to say, the output now is with Korkmaz, right? He is firing more shots. That's control, complete control of the fight. I feel like Ronnie needs to get back on the jab, try and find the distance, that low kick hurt. That was to the calf. He's really bullying it now on Boston. That's great from the champion. Beautiful work to change up the dynamic of the fight because it was going all in the in the favor of Korkmaz. Now out of nowhere, the tall, long, lanky champion decides to do a power double and gets it. But listen, Korkmaz is a legit BJJ black belt. Great submissions off his back. But just for the, the dynamic, actually, the champion needing to change the dynamic 100%. and looking to get it down yeah. to the ground, that's going to work in the favor of Korkmaz if he has got the talent on the mat to try and peel him off him right now. Trying to get his right butterfly hook in, does so. Already, many people thought Paradiso would walk through Korkmaz. Now, I've called some of his fights. You've seen them as well, live in other promotions. He is as game as they come, and he's got one hell of a skill set. And needs to be careful here, there's Paradiso. Doesn't want to make a mistake on the ground, swinging those arms. Maybe a sweep, maybe a triangle attempt here. A few different things. We're getting stacked right now. Almost using spider guard oh, there with, with the no gi, but uses it to get back to his feet. Has that body lock. Solid. Head pressures, solid and perfect, perfectly positioned for Korkmaz. And this is the range where I feel like he could do the most damage in this clinch. And Ronnie chose to be here. This is the uh, from the takedown to this position. One minute, 20 seconds now. Yeah, that left arm behind the back, can't quite see it. I can see it from the commentary box. See his left arm is completely wrapped round Ronnie as well. Lost it a little bit now. Ronnie's so tough to take down on the cage. That's probably one of his best assets, I think. Blood now, though, still on the face of the champion. And Korkmaz comes, goes to the body. Oh, nice jump, jump in knee. knee. Really nice combination, throwing that right hook down to the body as well. That's what I like, that straight one too. It's beautiful to watch from Ronnie when he starts opening up and firing multiples. Before he starts throwing a few phases as well. One, two, step, one, two. That deep to the face. Trying to impose himself some more, but that lead. Oh, jump me again. Yeah, I think that might have opened up a cut. Yeah. Both men cut, both men bleeding. Nice left hand up, got right hook. 
Yeah, just on the uh, right where the eyebrow meets the nose, and now that's bleeding into the eye. Korkmaz already blinking heavily. We ducks under there, nice work. Again, a what? real battle this yeah. though for, for Ronnie. Ronnie really, you know, like you said, our champion here decided to take part in this competition, and people thought he'd walk through Korkmaz. Korkmaz putting on a valiant display, and tonight, in my opinion, this second round, he mopped mop most of it. But we feel like we've got two judges now having it as a draw, one round each to Korkmaz. So it's, uh, you know, we're going into this round, it's all still all to play for in this third and final. Oy. And it's the intention from Korkmaz which changed in the second round. Him controlling the center. That's what he's trying to do now. Look at him bullying, bullying Ronnie back. That's and what he needs to do and landing that shot. Right hand landed clean there, sure right hand. And he's targeting that leg again, that lead leg certainly is. Born the weight of some of those heavy shots from Korkmaz. Fainting that, that jump, that leap, but they're just using that to push back Korkmaz. Again, going into that leg now, attempting the takedown to change the dynamic once again is Paradisa. Fascinating as well to say the fight is so close. Again, all even on two judges' scorecards, two rounds. Beautiful arm drag escape there. Two Classic. rounds, sorry, two rounds to uh, Paradisa on one judges. Yeah, one judge has it for the champion. The other two say it's a draw going into this third. There's a right hand, but gets oh. caught with a check cook or a little shot from the left hand. We over the top, misses. Little faint there from Ronnie, trying to get a bite of Reed on Korkmaz. Korkmaz, though, has been excellent. Oh, Boy, that's a heavy one shot. Two. Stepped into that one as well, did Korkmaz. Needs again to, to oh, under-respect. Needs to come back, looks like. He's waning a little bit here, but he turns him out. Great work. Get cast the, the hands together, does Korkmaz up against the fence. Yes, yeah, Battling here, back and forth for this underhook, gives up on the battle and goes to the hip, gets the, oh, gets. almost gets the takedown. Great work from Ronnie, and that's all. It's so difficult to get him down to the mat flat because he just springs up every single time, puts himself on his hand. Cool, great man. attempts from yeah. our challenger. Kortmaz looking to try and control him here. Again, for me, it's interesting that Ronnie was the one that looked to close the distance. Kortmaz is so good from these spots, and he's proving it so. Nice. Dirty foot stops. I'll never describe them any other way. <laughs> but you, utilizing every part of the body and every tool that he can as he goes in deep on his high crotch. Great control, though. You see Ronnie now attacking the wrist. The only way to get Ronnie down is to use the arms and the legs to get trips as well. Go to the body, pull him away, use leg reaps inside and out because he's so difficult to get with classical takedowns. Maybe a high crotch here. Two minutes, 25 seconds left in this, this pivotal round here. The Octagon champion looking to defend, not the belt, but you know, the honor of the promotion. Up against the Tillicortmas looking to make his name here. And definitely would make his name if he can snatch victory here in this third round. Deep breath as they break apart. We know Ronnie can go, used to go in two more rounds. Maybe he's going to build here in this third. We've got two minutes remaining in this fight. Who wants it more? Yeah, that's, that's exactly where it's about now. Somebody needs to make that statement. Again, Ronnie closing the distance here. And gets reversed and turned out. Digs for that underhook. Again, it's just a strange decision when he's having that sort of success on the uh, on the feet. Yeah, nice spin attack lands as well, eye catching. One minute twenty five seconds now. <laughs> this is fascinating stuff. And Korkmaz rising to the occasion here yeah. in his debut with us here at Oculus MMA. Trading low kicks, back and forth. Oh, There's that question mark kick again. 60 seconds left. Who can make that mark? Which way is it in favor of already? Go to the body with that kick. Someone needs to make an impression. I feel like Ronnie running away with it a little bit now. Korkmaz needs to be urgent, needs to show something. Needs to show he wants this. I'd say the same from Ronnie as well, right? This is so close. 
This final exchange, the final taste of the judges' mouths could be so important. Yeah, especially as we move into the final 30 seconds. Korgmas now dominating the space, taking control of the center of the octagon cage, pushing his man around. Lands there well. Oi. Both men lands on the counter, does Ronnie, and then that beautiful straight left hand. These two are going to go toe to toe in our final 10 seconds. 10 seconds to Korkmaz go. Korgmas asking for it. Ronnie obliging, off we go. Oh, cartwheel kick. Oi, what a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, let's see how judges score this fight. 29-28, Korkmas. 30-27, Paradiser. And 29-28 for the winner by split decision. Ronald! Ronnie Paradise! The 1 million euro tip sport game changer comes to the UK for the first time. April 20th in Birmingham. One list versus Siraj. Get your tickets now at theticketfactory.com.